What's up, YouTube? Hey, today we're starting a brand new series on this channel uh, where we play Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I'm super excited to dive into this. I've only played this game a handful of times, and I really haven't gotten very far. We're going to see what happens. We, we've got a character already made up here, and I've got kind of a... I, I don't really... Like, I kind of know the story, but I don't really know the story. Um, we're going to just dive right on in here. So let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and just and just check this out. D, you guys know Dungeons & Dragons is like something I love to do. It's it's my thing. Uh, I've already made a character and his name is Seth Gilded Hall. He is a noble. Um, and then here are kind of our stats. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Uh, we are human. And yeah, and, and we're a fighter with the uh, defense fighting style. Um, and then this is, uh, I guess, who we dream of, who attracts you. Um, she is a elf, a high elf, female, um, and I, that's all they let me do. I, I didn't really change anything. I just kind of moved the makeup down some, and then I, uh, I just kind of went and messed with it, made it to what I think Seth Gildedhall would, would like. So let's go ahead. We're going to venture forth. I really like that this has got mind flares and illithid. That's really cool. And, and, and I have kind of seen some of this stuff before, but it's really cool to see it again. And it looks so good. Oh, jeez. These dudes are riding dragons. This is like, this is insane. I can't imagine riding a dragon chasing after these guys. That's awesome. I don't care who you are.
She looks like a like a wood elf or like a like a maybe a half orc or something. Oh, bro. This is the first layer of Avernus. That's the first layer of hell right there. Okay, this is where we start. Escape the oh, Nautiloid. Okay. So I've got a long sword and a short bow. Um, Might still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. I do like the emojis, Law Dog. Better not be cursed. Someone else got out. Auto save. Okay. Might be other survivors. Nursery. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. All right, we got this intelligence check. It's a DC 10. We got this. Yeah. All right. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. There's like text for some reason that seems to be missing. This game is in uh, early access, by the way, so there may be some things that like There may be some things that like don't work. I believe we're only level one. This is us. Yeah, we're level one and we're we're, we're getting We're getting thrown around with uh, mind flares, which are like not good Wonder who was inside. Uh, what is it? Okay, there's a guy over here kill something good Kill something? Good advice, right? No, we're trying to kill something. We might kill something. What's this? All right, we'll take that. Good. Good. I don't know. Okay, what's this? Restoration. I feel okay, so that's like healing. Oh. How do we get up here? Use the jump action to reach. Oh, my dude can jump so high. Okay, what is this? A brain in a jar. A brain in a jar. Scroll of mage armor and gold. I'll take that. What did I pick up? A slave mind. Okay, what is this grease bottle? Creates a flammable grease service. Oh, okay, so this is kind of like uh, you throw the grease on the ground and then the alchemist fire. That's cool. All right, let's go this way. This looks gross. Ooh, lesser imps. Ill Illithid record. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Hollow shell. Okay. Pick it up. I believe I can attack like almost anything. Am I in the hells? Potion of healing. Scroll of fire bolts. Take that. What is all this? I think. somebody up there cerebral aquarium I'm telling you illithids are illithids are disgusting man another brain we're collecting brains a 
thousand years of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Faint images appear in your mind, a brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries of darkness. Oh, that sounds terrible. Somebody keeps saying that like I'm trapped. We're gonna go up here. Let's go talk to this to this guy. Oh wait, what's this? Curious. Tentacle. Brains. This guy looks very dead. Oh. Uh, Lost says. Oh. Exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Oh. They return. They return. Okay. Uh, Law Doggin asks, uh, "Is this Dungeons and Dragons the computer game?" Now this is Baldur's Gate three. Oh, this dude looks nasty. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. Oh. One of the mind flayers who abducted you. These are bad. <clears throat> I think we just killed it. Oh man, that was disgusting. I thought I could just use my sword, bro. <laughs> Stuck his whole hands in there. Uh, let's go down. That was disgusting. Okay, uh, looks like we need to go this way. Yeah, that was nasty. Um, <laughs> uh oh. Oh, wow, that's so cool. So, I believe this is the first layer of hell in DD, which is actually called Avernus. <laughs> I actually ran descent into Avernus with a group of a uh, group of people one time. Okay, auto save. That that freaks me out. I was like, "What the?" Okay, who is this? Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing. A silver sword and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squaw. You are no thrall. Blacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must reach the helm before we transform. What? Transform? What do you mean? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich. Mind flayers. Who, am Who are I? you? Your only chance of survival. Okay. Uh, is uh, are we turning into mind players? There must be something we can do. We escape. That must be our priority. Is the helm our way out of here? This is where we might gain control of the Gaarth, the ship. Once in command, we will deal with our gate captors. Okay, onward then. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. 
Okay. So this girl's just gonna... Oh, she's also a fighter. Well, I can click on her, and uh, that's cool. She's got a huge sword. Cool. Okay, cool. Well, we'll go this way. Will she automatically... Okay, she automatically follows me. It seems like... Okay, there's the imps that she was talking about. Let's see if we can't get a ranged attack. Oh, we got it. I think there's a way to sneak. Oh, we'll do it again. Oh! We got it at surprise. Okay, this is uh, initiative. All right, combat happens in turns. Each turn you can take one action and one bonus action. You can also move. A roll of the die decides the turn order. This is called initiative. Your actions are identified by the dot icon. Click this icon to show your available actions. Bonus actions are smaller, quicker actions. Uh, shows how much distance you can cover. Okay, so it's my turn, I think. So I want to range attack this guy. We killed him. Click here to end your turn. Can I do anything? Do I want to move? This is kind of a weird... I'll move, I guess, to here. Can I, like, hide? Okay. That guy... I guess I gotta... We got a surprise round. Use melee weapon for enemies near you and arrange weapons for enemies further away. Okay, so she... Just move her up to there. That's about as far as I think she can go. Oh, we are so good at this game. Surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the hell. Hand axe. Light crossbow. Okay. Let's see. Three to eight damage. This is three to ten damage. So we can do that. Four to nine damage. Four to thirteen. So we'll keep our sword. Okay. Am I? We must go to the helm. Okay. 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 Hard not to ask questions. Why the helm? Control over the ship. Or do you wish to die here? Mm -mm. I'd rather not die. All right. I guess we'll go up here, and it looks like we gotta go up. Oh, there's stuff going on up here. That'll do it. Okay. What? What in the world? Okay. Dead thrall. A short bow. Enthralled cultist. Lend a hand, won't you, love? There's a rat in the kitchen. Ten red rats. Uh, and they're flying and they're clawing. <laughs> the mind flayers have already enthralled him. Leave him, or we will share his fate. Oh, man. What's this thing? I'm just looting all these bodies. Dagger, studded shield. That's kind of cool. Um, we could equip, like, the shield. 
Alright. Now we're harder to hit. We have an AC of 19. Oh, these people are like dying. It's like kind of sad. Gold and a model. Bo got me. Got me. Got me. Right in the gut. Tell the baits I'll be all right. Oh, man. Copper band. They don't. I don't trust this thing. I don't trust. Oh no. Okay. Alright, let's get this. Thing. All right, we'll just we'll just search then, and we'll prepare. Critical hit. Okay. All right, now we should be able to hit this thing for nine damage. I can only hit it one time. What's this? Pommel strike. Oh, that was a mess. Okay. Ten damage. Why would you not pommel strike every time? I guess that's a bonus action. Yeah, yeah they saved. Easy. <laughs> oh, I thought she was saying easy because we killed that intellect devourer. Blast cannon? Short sword. I don't know if like we should be taking this stuff. We should be the goblins or what? Oh, mind flayer, scrabble your brain. <laughs> Shared initiative. Characters in the same party that are next to each other act at the same time. Boom. Mug. I tell you, we just killed. I'm not trying to talk to you. We just killed that bug. <laughs> nope. Oh, you got an axe on your back? We'll take it. Ooh, a battle axe. Take that. I'm a bit peaked, Mom. I think I'll go to bed early. Oh, these poor, these poor people. Okay, uh, it looks like we need to go this way. This is like just just so cool. I don't know. This environment is just really cool. What the hell? Got your break. Mucus membrane. <laughs> destructible environment. Some parts of the environment are destructible. Push left control to target an object for attack. Okay, and I, I already kind of messed with equipment. So. The man isn't dead, <laughs> but he's totally unresponsive. Life flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. Dude, are all of their brains like? You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. Look for a latch that might open the lid. The construction is too alien. 
Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they see it. We're gonna try and save this girl. That's what Seth would do. The console appears dormant. Uh, look for a switch the release. Are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Hit it. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Okay, so there's probably a key. Whatever fits in that socket must be. Life flickers in his eyes, but he seems totally unaware of his surroundings. I was wondering, now that we know that we need a key, if these guys the might. Isn't dead. I guess we can't really search him. Totally unresponsive. Okay. Oh hey, treasure. Abuse. Needs a key. We need a key. What does all this do? Another mystery. How about this? Can't read the script. Hmm. Okay. So I can't read any of those, which is probably bad. What's in here? We are nearing the hell. Once inside, do as I say. So this way is how you get to the helm, so maybe we shouldn't go this way yet. This seems like a... It seems kind of like a puzzle. Oh! Oh, I missed. Well, Pommel is nerd. Mm. Okay. Oh, I should've... She used my pommel. Oh my gosh. You did so much damage there. There we go. Not a problem. Let's heal. Ooh, what is this? How many hosts of these gay infected? A dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Why is she the like She's the only one in this room. Maybe she's special. Oh, wait. Are these all pods? These are all pods. Ooh, a key. Might fit that chest. What does this do? Could mean anything. Oh. Oh! Oh, we shouldn't have done that. Chain char. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. That's nasty. To get out of here. Before it's our turn. So he's just chilling in there the now? The born mind flayer stares at you. Weak and dazed. Let's get out of here. All right, we got this key. I bet this key unlocks that chest. We'll unlock that chest, and maybe there's another key that unlocks the uh, this this girl. What's inside? It worked. Eldritch rune. Onyx and gold. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. Uh, and a bunch of scrolls. So we'll take all the scrolls. All right, let's go back over here. The console appears dormant. Insert the rune. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the oh. captain? Transform. Hopefully it doesn't transform her. Alright, I haven't been doing terrible with this, but we're gonna try. Or my arcana checks in general have been bad. Oh, yes sir! 
Okay, okay. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Okay. Let's try it. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Oh. We're going to will the pod to open. We get a plus one. Oh, this is a zero. We win no matter what. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. And you get to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Gross. Oh! I thought I was done for. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gith with you. You keep dangerous company. Oh, yeah, well. Did you just, did you feel that just now? We were in each other's heads. Be because of those parasites they put in us. So we all have, have parasites in our heads? We need to get off this ship alive first. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. All right, then. Let's get going. I'm Seth Gildedhall. Shadowheart. One moment. What was that? Hey, tell me what that was. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough hey. of this chatter. We need to get to the helm now. I don't think. She's right. Lead on. I don't think. Uh, like I just, I just met you. I don't know. Okay, what is she? She's a cleric. Okay, very cool. Oh, wait, open this backpack. Is this her backpack? He can't leave this stuff. He might need it. Okay, I kind of want to push these buttons and just see what happens. Machine made them hostile. Yep, shouldn't have done that. So do I have, yeah, I have two spell slots. Do I have cantrips, firebolt. All right, well, he's this close, so we're just gonna smack him. likely to awaken anytime soon. Look for anything about you. Oh, we knocked that guy out? I feel like we need to if not over. kill him. Already dead. So these are just like the sacri sacrifice the stuff that turns them. Okay. Well, let's go back into this room. Now, I'm glad we went and got this girl, because now we've got three. We've got a squad. Here goes nothing. Let's do this. <clears throat> Intellect is ours. Ooh. There's something going on up here. I think he just ate his brain.
Uh, I don't know if I trust you. We will deal with the gate after we escape. Commence battle? That dude has 135 HP. Huh, how's that? Ooh. Okay, okay, we're gonna hit my turn here. Get in there. Oh, you, you are a beast. Ciao. Oh. Okay, she can. This is the cantrip girl. Let's see, give her. Uh... Let's just do firebolt, maybe. Ooh. Oh, they might be resistant to fire. I didn't even think about that. Let me let me loot first, man. Leather armor. See, that's why you loot. Oh, I can't move anymore. Okay. Correct. All right. Can we disengage? I don't know if I want to fight that big guy. Time to strike. Okay. It's just. Walk as far as we can, I guess. Got to keep fighting. Can we attack this guy? I kind of want to attack it from a distance. Take a flame. Got to press on. If this ship hits the ground, we're dead. Ooh, a crossbow. Is there a way to not? Disengage. Victory awaits. Uh. Okay. Taking position. Let's finish okay. Well, this. we still have to move in Moving. turns, I guess. I Maybe not. Maybe maybe this ain't the best turn. Oh, okay. Cutscene. Oh, okay, this, this battle ain't over. Let's end this. All right, cantrips. Okay, hit him with the fireball. That's cool. I'm sure whatever might be on these guys, it just may not be worth actually trying to. What's in here? Trying to uh, find, I guess. Still too far. I don't know if. I mean, I might just wait here and then uh, I'm just gonna continue to do this to him. You missed. We got this. Dang. What is this? R rush attack? Charge for... Possibly pushing them off balance. Lacerate. Wow, I'm so cool. I just lacerated him. I'm fury. I am death. Yeah. Saving throws. 
What other? She's got healing ward, charm person, disguise self, creator, short shield of faith. I don't think we need to use any of those right now. I think we just. I'm guessing we probably shouldn't try to. Shouldn't try to uh, mess with those guys. What is this? Time to strike. No time to waste. Moving. I wonder if that's kind of like a time limit kind of thing. Is it this thing? Transponder? Well, what does this do? Uh-oh. What the heck? Yo, I don't think we can fight those guys. We sh should we use this? I guess we should. The Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. I don't know what that other thing does. I kind of wanna, kind of wanted to see what that thing did. A little button. Just pull that thing, right? did it that was really cool it's like an awesome way to start a game everybody loves mind flares I mean they love them and they hate them at the same time DMs love to use them players love to encounter them but not to actually like fight them and get their brain sucked out Would be crazy to see. say how was I floating wow That's cool. Escape the nautiloid success. Remove the parasite. Okay. I lost my party members. But, okay, y'all. That's gonna be it. 
for this episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Thank you all so much for watching. I like this game. I, I really do. Uh, and I'm excited to play more of it. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Make sure you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It's going to help me so much. Um, yeah, that's it, for, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, take care. Peace out.